Hi, imagine that you're a farmer and you want to improve your stock. So you have a group of 4 months old hogs that has an average weight of 170 pounds. The average weight of selected breeders is 185 pounds. If the heritability of weight is 40%, what is the expected average weight of the first generation progeny? And if you know how to solve this problem, as uh, usual, I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. And before I will show you how to solve this problem, this is actually very easy, probably would take less than one minute, I want to show you a little bit of theory and uh, imagine that we have a graphic like this and uh, of course we would have on our farm um, different weight of uh, uh, animals and uh, this may look something like this so our uh, original um, average would be 170 pounds so 170 and uh, on this shoulder we would have uh, animals that would weigh less than 170 and here we would have uh, animals that would weigh more than 170. Why our graphic looks like uh, this bell shape? Uh, because the more the weight, the less animals we would have. For example, here we would have uh, only one animal that is going to be um, champion of the weight, maybe one, 200 or 220 pounds and here we would have uh, some animals with uh, really low weight but average would be around here and most of the animals would be around here and for our breeding program of course we would be interested in the animals that is going to be here say between 170 and 200 and here would be 100 40 pounds. So of course we would be interested in this uh, group of animals that would weigh between 170 and 200. And average here would be about uh, here. And this is going to be 185. According to our uh, problem, um, average weight of selected breeders is 185 pounds. So it doesn't mean that all of them are 185 uh, pounds. This is average. So we choose between 170 and uh, 200 pounds. So average is 185. And if you think that next uh, following generation so uh, this was a parental generation and next uh, following generation would be F1 generation. If you think that this generation would like this, so this would be uh, the average mean of the following generation and it be the graphic becomes uh, like this. This is not true because uh, we have here on this shoulder uh, animals that is not only superior genetically but also environmental factors play its role so I just want to remind you the formula for the total phenotypic variance and this is would be um, V uh, phenotypic equal to variance genetic plus variance environmental so as you see, uh, environment plus genetics uh, make uh, phenotype. So for the best results, of course, we should have uh, the best environment and best genetics. But this is uh, not always the true uh, about our selection, because some of the animals here can be uh, from the group of this shoulder so some of the animals from here can be present here 
and they just were lucky to be uh, to possess not the superior uh, genetics but to be in the best environmental conditions so they may end up to be here and wait more and uh, some of the uh, animals that is uh, on the right shoulder also belong to this group though they are uh, superior genetically but we are unlucky to be in the worst environmental conditions and of course the weight gain would be less for example if the, they would have worse uh, nutrition and would be fit less and uh, if you still didn't uh, got this idea I have another example for you from the real life uh, imagine that uh, uh, one of your classmates that is uh, uh, smaller than you uh, weight less than you but who is practicing boxing he would be uh, superior to you if you would fight with him uh, those you probably would weight more and would be taller but uh, we have to consider here that that other person was in superior environmental conditions and um, he probably would be stronger than you so of course uh, genotype and uh, uh, genetic composition can be inherited but superior environment cannot be inherited so the new mean of the following generation would be somewhere over here so we call this response to selection so this is going to be R and this is going to be between original mean and uh, mean of selection so this is going to be response to selection this is always less than uh, uh, mean of selection and now I'm going to show you the formula that we are going to use in order to solve our problem so R response to selection would equal to h small squared multiplied by uh, selection mean and uh, as you see we can use all the numbers that we have here and uh, h squared would be uh, 40 percent that we have to multiply by the mean of selection and uh, this is going to be 185 minus 170 so this would be mean of selection and this is going to be mean of the original population so the difference would be 15 15 pounds so we have to multiply by 15 and we are going to get here 6 pounds so the following generation would have plus six pounds so originally we had uh, 170 pounds plus six pounds so the ne next following generation f1 generation um, mean weight would be 176 uh, pounds and this is going to be our answer to our problem so this mean would be 176 and this is going to be f1 generation so this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye